I watched the David Pakman show on, uh, on YouTube. He says he's a political guy. He thinks like I do politically. So I like watching, I like watching him. Well, check this out. This is uh, this is very exciting. The other day I did a sort of review of Howard Stern's interview of president Joe Biden, which was, I thought excellent. And it really portrayed Biden in a very positive light, 75 minutes with Howard talking about all sorts of different things. He clearly knows what day it is. He knows what time it is. He knows he's the president really kind of just pushing back against all these false notions that you're hearing from right wingers who ignore the fact that Trump can't uh, uh, can barely give a speech after 6 p.m. But insist Biden doesn't even know what day it is. Uh, and I mentioned during that review, hey, when Howard asked X question, it sounds like the sort of question the White House would say, we really want you to talk about this, about airline regulation. And I gen generically said, in my experience, when you do these high profile interviews, the handlers always have stuff they want you to talk about. That's it. Not the interview was scripted or anything like that. Howard saw my review and said the whole thing wasn't scripted. Uh, they didn't give me anything to ask. Uh, which, of course, is absolutely fine and doesn't conflict with what I said. But let's listen to what uh, Howard Stern said on his show yesterday. By the way, I'm watching on uh, I watched the David Pakman show on uh, on YouTube. Mm -hmm. He says he's a political guy. He thinks like I do politically. So I like watching. I like watching him. But anyway, he did a, a segment on um, my interview with uh, Joe Biden. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. And he was like. He was saying it was it was upsetting me. So I'm, I'm addressing it now. He was saying <laughs> when Howard interviewed Joe Biden, he 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 said up front a question to Joe Biden that was clear. Like he's speculating. He's not saying for sure, but he goes, there's no way Howard would have asked this or. Yeah, my instinct was I don't know that refunds on canceled flights is like super interesting to Howard. And I know the White House was pushing it. They had Pete Buttigieg on TV talking about it. So I said, it sounds like the sort of thing the White House would say, please talk about this. It's not that the interview is scripted, of course. Asked about it. It's clear that the White House set him up to do this. It was something set up. And I want to tell you something. It got me thinking. I went, oh, my goodness. I've heard a lot of this from people who say, oh, um, the White House wouldn't have agreed to do the interview if they hadn't written the questions or this kind of thing, which was not my claim to be very clear. These are other people. Now, I don't know what anybody's saying, but here's what happened. So when Joe Biden came in I, the day before John Hine and I were talking about some of the accomplishments that we admire that have gone on in the past four years. And John says to me, Hey Howard, did you hear what Joe Biden did with the airlines? I go, what'd he do? And he starts explaining to me that now if the airline for any reason bumps you the way it always was, you got a credit. You couldn't get your yeah. money back. And it was really bullshit. You're like, oh, but what if I don't travel again for two years? What do you mean? What, what, a credit? I don't want a credit. I want my money back. True. So the Biden administration passed a law that the airlines have to refund you your money. And John was explaining this to me. And I said, you know what? I bet a lot of people don't know about that. I didn't know about it. So I stand corrected. I stand corrected. It was not fed by the White House. And again, this isn't about they scripted the interview. It's whenever I've done one of these interviews and I'm not nearly as high, high, high profile as Howard and I've never interviewed someone as high profile as the president. They always come to you with like, we'd really like to focus on this. And often this is something, quite frankly, kind of boring. Um, but that's not what happened. And that's fine. But the guy sounded so connected on that interview. It's so emotional, so human uh, that I wanted that to come across. That was it. That was the agenda. That's the only a prearranged sort of conversation I had with the White yeah, House. If they were scripting the questions, wouldn't that have been a lot different? And of course, this is now going beyond scripting questions is very different than when I get the little notes. Hey, the publicist wants you to ask about X. Oh, yeah. But but as far as this uh, statement about the airline. I uh, that 
because uh, David uh, Pakman, who I'm a fan of, said, um, gee, that doesn't sound like something ha- That That's obviously the White House feeding him this information. I go, well, uh, d- d- cut the conspiracy theory. No conspiracy, just my... And hey, here's the deal. I don't have the clout that Howard has. I'm sure with him, it's a different scenario than with me, where when we interview Pete Buttigieg and it's like, hey, what are you going to, what do you want to talk about? Here's the three initiatives we want to focus on. And then we have to navigate that and say, listen, we're going to do the interview the way the way we want to do it. But obviously we want to we're going to we're not going to sandbag anyone with some extraneous thing from 10 years ago unless we say this will be a topic. We never give questions, but we agree on what the subject matter is going to be. Uh, but this is I have to tell you, it's very cool that Howard is checking this out. And obviously, any any time he wants to talk about my show, I'm glad to talk to him on his show anytime. In fact, when people wrote to me and said, David, Howard's talking about you right now, uh, I uh, I tried calling in to get on and say, hey, hey, look, this is what I meant. All right. Let's listen to just a little bit more of this. Because I was a little shocked when I saw you said, oh, the White House fed him that question. I don't no. want any miscon- misconstrued statements happening. No, no, no. And he wasn't accusing because me Because that him. will become the truth. People will start saying yeah. it, then it will be a fact. No, yeah, no. Yeah, he was, he was speculating how this whole thing might have gone down, and, and quite frankly, it wasn't like that. No. They- St- I stand corrected, and then lastly, they did bring on fake Alex Jones. You guys know how real Alex Jones really doesn't like me. That is a freaking predator right there. Oh, the bonus show where you want to make money, but everybody else that makes money to fund themselves is bad. Thank your lucky stars every day. You're not Dave Pakman. That's the real Alex Jones attacking me. They brought on fake Alex Jones to attack me on the Howard Stern show. Hold on. Oh, my God. It's a right wing commentator, Alex Jones, conspiracy oh. theorist. Yes, Alex. Infowars.com. Howard, do not listen to the haters. Do not listen to Pac-Man. I want to come here. I want to congratulate you. Your interview with Hologram Biden was fantastic. I mean, I don't know who's controlling him, Klaus Schwab. I don't know if it was Bill Gates in the other room. All right. So and you you get it. So we all have cleared the air. Everything's cool. The interview was, uh, uh, I thought, excellent and fascinating. And Biden came off really well at the end of the day. Sweaters, candles, the dreaded bathrobe. Unfortunately, Mother's Day gifts can be a little predictable and boring, which is why an aura frame is the perfect gift to mix things up this year. Named the best digital photo frame by Wirecutter, aura frames are guaranteed to bring joy to moms of all ages. I don't live super close to my parents, so giving them an aura frame with pictures of the baby was a perfect gift. Both I and they can add pictures to the frame using the aura app, no USB, just infinite cloud photo storage where it all happens seamlessly over Wi-Fi, super easy. Not only will she be grateful, it's not another sweater. She'll also love that an aura frame gets she means to see more of you. Right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. Go to AuraFrames.com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman for $30 off plus free shipping on their best-selling frame. The link is in the description. Terms and conditions apply.